Hi fellas, ladies, germs, gentlemen, Rosie Otis, the ferrets, sorry, the east side hood rats. Uh, who else? The crypt keeper, Cletus. Don't forget Cletus. Uh, a balmy day up here. It's in the 50s. Supposed to hit 55. Perhaps I was hasty in taking the battery out of the bike. Yeah. Uh, very nice day out. Maybe the uh, water will go down a little before we get more rain. We got, it rained here yesterday. We got about an inch. Uh, the river is still going down, though, so hopefully it'll keep going in that direction. Well, I finished the stagecoach, guys. Um, I broke a couple pieces. I fixed a couple pieces. Um, it does not work. I can get the gears to turn, but for some reason it does not work. Um, very tight. Uh, very, very tight. Uh, if I turn the gears, everything moves, but to wind it up, to wind it up and make it work, no. So I might have to look on, maybe I screwed something up, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, it's a hell of a looking model. We'll pull you back here and we'll show it to you. So there we are. That's what we get. Um, really cool looking. Um, but like I said, you got to have the hands of uh, Hercules to put this thing together. Um, you know, I, like I said, a kid's not doing this. Not by himself. You got to be real careful breaking these pieces out of the wooden things. I, I broke a couple of... Uh, I broke a, a leg on the horse trying to get it out of the thing. Um, there were a couple other pieces that, that got broken. Um, you got to watch the ends. The ends of the pieces. They were. I was noticing that uh, trying to fit them in, like a, a piece of these would come out. Not the whole thing, but like a corner. Um, same thing with the other end. I mean, they're all the same thing, but uh, you had to be real careful. You got to be real careful breaking these things out of them. Um, it makes for a beautiful model. I mean, these are these are cool in themselves. I mean, these open. You can make them little jewelry boxes if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, the one on the back, the one on the back is stationary, but it still opens. So, I mean, to make a nice little jewelry box for, a, you know, for a, a young girl or something like that. But uh, the doors are supposed to open, but uh, they do not. Uh, I got to tell you, man, don't, they're really, really tight tolerances. They tell you to put uh, candle wax. And I put candle wax on everything I was told to put candle wax on, but I don't know. I went to open one of the doors before I had the top on, and I... Thank God they give you a, uh, they gave me an extra hinge, but I broke it, I broke it right here where it attaches, so, uh, I just took it, and it, it glued back together, and I just stuck it back in there, because like I said, you're not, you're not going to be able to open it up, um, they, you get a few extra parts, not a lot. I mean, that's what I think this is what I got for extra parts. A couple of uh, spokes. These are wheel spokes. I had to use one. Uh, see what I'm talking about? See how that whole corner broke right off? Uh, and this is for... Uh, that's the key to wind it up. They give you an extra one of those, too. The key, and that's the ring that holds the other side. But, uh, yeah, that's what you got for extra parts. So, you got to be careful. Like I said, try to break these out of, out of the, uh, out of the, uh, out of here. Breaking the pieces out of here was, uh, like I said, got to be real, real careful. Um, I didn't really have a problem putting anything together. Like I said, it's just, 
it's just trying to squeeze these joints together. These little, uh, these little square joints right here. I mean, they're, they're tight, tight. Any, any place you see a square, that's a hold point. And you gotta really, really press these things in there to get them to, to come in. Wax or no wax. Um, but, uh, yeah. I had my, my fingers are killing me. Fingertips. That's the only bad thing about it that I thought. I mean, uh, other than that, I, it's a great looking model. I'm gonna put it up on our, uh, on the table in the kitchen after, uh, after Christmas. Mrs. Max got the, uh, the uh, Christmas town on the on the table up in the kitchen, so I'll do a flyby of that one of these days. I'll show you. But uh, yeah, other than that, other than trying to, to having a hard time, you know, putting it together, it's a great kit. I'm gonna I, I wouldn't mind getting another one. Uh, but I I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a few months to get my fingertips back. So. Well, that means I'm going to have to open up something else because the, uh, the studs is still dry and it's still tacky. Speaking of still tacky. Hey, can't even show your nose, can you? Yeah, this is all still a little bit tacky. So, I'm going to give it a little, a little uh, polish. Yeah, it's getting there. It's not as... They're better today than they were yesterday, but it's still tacky. See what I mean? Yeah, and I want to get my fingerprints all over it. So, if it's gonna if it's gonna sit another couple of days, it's gonna sit another couple of days. I'll I'll pull something else on out of the stash. I don't know what yet. Maybe maybe the uh, maybe a metal model that uh, Tom gave me, or I might even pull the vintage bike out. Maybe we'll do the bike, but uh, oh, I got I got a new sub too. We'll figure something out. Go over here too. Oh yeah, don't forget egg plane build coming up, boys, in April. Me and uh, Dan, the uh, Munchkin Marlin man, seventy-two. Dan, April first to the uh, April. What is it? April thirtieth. Thirty days in April. You got the whole month of April. You want to build 25 eggplants? Build 25. You want to build one? Build one. But, uh, yeah, here it is. I'll take a picture of this, and um, anybody would like, that would like, uh, if you want the logo sheet, uh, I'll leave my uh, email address. In the description, and uh, I'll probably forget. But uh, I'll, I'll leave the, my email address in the description, and anybody that wants this, get a hold of me, and I'll uh, I'll send you a copy of it. So I think I got it in my phone already. So the only one rule: it's got to be an eggplant. Other than that, I don't care what you do to it. It's just got to be an eggplant, not a mang, not a tune. An eggplant, Hasegawa eggplant. That's the only rule. So, but uh, I would highly suggest getting one of these. I mean, they make a real nice looking model. All the nice scroll work in it and everything else. I mean, that's that's real scroll work, guys. That's not uh, the camera makes it look like it they're uh, been drawn on, but they're not. That's really that's real scroll work. That's why you got to be real, real careful taking them out of those things, because in some spots there's real, it's real, real fine what's left that you're taking out. So, but yes, I would highly recommend one. I had a, I had a, like I said, the only problem I didn't like about it was my fingers. Other than that, got to have strong hands. You should be able to handle it, Jeff. You got strong hands, buddy. I don't know how you got them, but oh, truck driving. Yeah, that's right too, shifting. Oh. Well, I'm going to see what the hell i got to do. i got a little bit of weathering to do on the rest of the studs. Maybe I'll do that to rear end in the exhaust. So, well, winding down, boys. All right, fellas. Have a nice day. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. Peace out.